is Anna, the British Shepherd. I am 30 years old and at this point, I think I can safely say that I'm fully grey. I mean, I used to have a dark area in the back of my head of my original hair color, but that has been gone for a long, long time now. So yeah, fully gray. Anyway, if you are new here and you don't really know me, I actually have gray hair all the way down to my knees. That's right. <laughs> and today I wanted to share some of my experiences as a prematurely graying person. Is that a politically correct way of saying it? I guess if I'm saying it about myself, then it's okay, I think. Oh no! So I actually already have a video about some general information about what it was like to go grey at 13. But today I wanted to share more recent experiences of mine because ever since I started going grey, people have just told me over and over again. Well, yeah, you're just 16 now. It doesn't show that much. But as soon as you'll get into your 20s, You'll have to start dyeing it, otherwise you'll just look old. Oh yeah, you're still in your 20s. Your face is so young and cute. Of course the silver strands don't age you. But in a few years time, gray hair will do you nasty. Oh well, yeah, you're still in your late 20s. Your gray hairs look more like highlights. So enjoy it while it lasts, cause as soon as you hit 30, you're gonna look like someone's grandma, unless you dye it. Uh, yeah, no thank you. To this day, I still don't think that grey hair ages me up and that is a hill I'm willing to die on. Wait, what's that sound? Shepherd, and today I want to tell you about a hill you can die on. Die on, not die on. Huh? A hill I'm willing to die on, as in unalive on. Well, suit yourself, but that makes absolutely no sense. Saying before I was oh so rudely interrupted, I wanted to share some of my more recent experiences with having grey hair as a 30 year old. But before I get into full on story mode, I want to take a teeny tiny detour and ask you to look at this graph. It's a pretty nasty looking graph, if I do say so myself, but there is something you could do to make it prettier. Get it? Pretty. Er. Pretty shepherd. Er. Get it? Get it? You know what you could do? That's right! Subscribe! And now, back to our regularly scheduled grey hair story time content. First and foremost, at this point, my grey hair is just so uniform that most people will simply assume that it's coloured. So they don't even say anything really. Not very long ago, I had a quick interaction with a lady. Nothing extraordinary, we were just both browsing in the same store. I liked her boots, so I just walked up to her and I told her that she had really awesome, badass looking boots. I think she was a little bit surprised by the sudden compliment. <laughs> so at first she simply muttered a very quiet thank you. But as I was walking out of the store, she turned around and told me, I like the color of your hair. Now maybe I'm making assumptions here, but I can usually tell very well when somebody has sort of clocked me <laughs> as a silver sister. But this lady did not look or sound like she knew. And the way that she worded it came across a lot more like I like your hair color as in hair dye. I've also recently had another interaction which was somehow more confrontational, yet not in a way that you would expect. <laughs> I was attending a folk dance festival when I was very politely approached by an older man. He complimented my outfit and my hair and after a long-winded explanation, he went on to ask me if my hair was natural or dyed. Because he was in fact 100% sure that it was natural. However, his wife was arguing otherwise. <laughs> 
It felt a little weird to be the subject of an elderly couple's argument. I guess life is full of all sorts of unexpected situations. Of course, I will occasionally get asked what sort of dye I use by all the people who do not have a perceptive spouse to contend the notion. And I totally understand where this question is coming from because having silver tinted platinum blonde hair has been an up and coming trend for years now. In fact, it's a little bit funny because whenever I confess to having naturally gray hair, a lot of people will tell me how it's actually trendy this year to have grey hair. Well, that's a uh, electricity uh, uh, shortage or, or what it's called. Power outage. I think that's what it's called. Actually, the picture quality is okay, but I bet it, it would be grainy. So I'm just gonna wait for the electricity to come back. One minute, 37 seconds later. Where was I? Oh yes, so it's always this year that the silver toned hair is trendy. Like they always tell me it's this year, but people have been telling me that for at least 10 years now. But it's always this year, <laughs> this summer to be more specific. Anyway, after people find out that it's a la mother nature, they will usually have an astounded look on their face, sometimes congratulate me for embracing it. Occasionally they will reminisce of a relative or friend that they know or used to know who had a similar hair color, young or old. And usually that's about the end of the interaction. Honestly, I've yet to meet anyone who would just make a nasty remark about my hair out of the blue as like a first statement as they got to know me. This is a different black cat, by the way. Do you see the, 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 the blue color? Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh my god, you're wet! But the topic of nasty remarks actually brings me to another strange situation that I was in just a couple months ago. I was doing an online interview about my hair. Yeah, it, it sounds weird when I say it out loud like that, but... Uh, it is what it is. Because I always think that there are so, 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 so many other things about me that are so much more interesting than my hair. Like my love for historical costuming and folklore and the regenerative agriculture that Mr. Shepard and I do together on the farm. Oh well, people want to talk about my hair. Fine. Now this interviewer told me that they wanted to know more about my gray hair journey, especially because it was bullying awareness month or some such. From the get-go, I told them that I'm happy to share my story. However, I haven't really gotten any negative remarks on my hair, so no bullying. We proceeded with the interview and they just kept going back to the bullying aspect. Did I get nasty remarks from my classmates? Uh, did it affect my high school years? Did it affect my self-esteem? Did I get bullied for it? Did I get called names? And so on and so on. And I kept repeating with a polite smile that nothing of the sort ever happened and I had no horrific anecdote to share. The interview was never published and I can't say that I mind. And just so I don't accidentally antagonize this interviewer, it wasn't just a situation specific to them. I have gotten this question a lot in interviews for some reason, so it just comes up very often, especially when I get asked about my early years going gray. I even recall another occasion when this question was just constantly pushed onto me in a way that uh, I, I ended up giving sort of a frantic response, just kind of rummaging through my mind to give them an adequate story as an answer. So I recalled an instance when a stranger on the street called me Cruella, you know, black and white hair. Truth be told, it may have just been a remark on the vintage fur color that I was wearing that day. And please, I don't want to get into the fur debate in this video. This is not about that topic. It was vintage, okay? Like I would never wear some sort of new fur. I don't condone the fur industry, etc., etc. Let's move on. So this emphasis on being bullied really got me thinking. Why are people so insistent on getting the negative reactions about my hair? Why do they want to hear the mean stories? And look, I got bullied loads as a teen, I'm not gonna lie, but it was for completely different reasons. 
usually for the way that I'm dressed. And never, never, not even once because of my hair. So I wonder why that is. And I don't mean why I didn't get bullied for my hair because I'm just glad it didn't happen and I don't want to put any effort into thinking about why it didn't. So just, just leave it. But I do wonder why people want to hear the bad stories so much. Why? When there are so many positive or funny stories to share, why do people want to hear the bad ones? Is it pessimism? I don't know. I don't have the answer, I just started wondering about it. So if anything of the sort ever happened to you, then please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have an answer to why people are fixated on negative things, please leave your theories about why some people are just so eager to hear the bad stories. Even though 90% of my interactions are positive, the remaining 9.9% are neutral at worst. Anyway, these were my most recent experiences about my hair. So this is basically what it's like to be gray-haired and 30, at least in my experience. <laughs> if you want more of these story time videos, then you can also leave them in a comment down below and I can keep that in mind. And you should keep in mind to make my graph look prettier by subscribing. Thank you, bye bye. I also love how the black cat decided to join me because it's it's like a really cool contrast with my hair. Um, so thank you, Maria.